Welcome to Lanier and Sons Sports. <laughs> Here to talk about Lanier some sports. And sports. <laughs> <laughs> Feel it, smell it, football. <laughs> yeah, um, we're trying to laugh to keep from crying because the New Orleans Saints, the New Orleans Saints, are that bad. Dude, Sam Bradford, actually, I, I, I'm trying to remember how he performed before, but dude, he was tearing it up tonight. Sam Bradford threw, yes. Dude, See, he was tearing it up tonight, dude. Check, check these stats out. Sam Bradford threw for 346 yards, three touchdowns, and he was 27 of 32 passing. Okay. That's that's pretty good. And dude, don't get me wrong, Drew Brees, I think he had a pretty good pretty good bit of yardage, but I think that I think it was a coaching problem. And then this is and this is hundred percent honest. Dude, they didn't use Adrian Peterson as a weapon when they should have. They were using him in the middle of the at the fifty yard line, which it's okay sometimes, but when you're in the red zone and you have that strong of a weapon, dude, you know, go for it. I, I don't That's think why he was so pissed off. I don't think I've seen. I don't think I've seen AP hit the corner once on a run. It, it just it didn't make any sense to me. I think they used him at the wrong time. I think that's what happened. I don't think they used him enough. At, oh uh, yeah, I think freaking, that too. Yeah, they used him. Did you notice how they used him a lot at first? But the, it's because they were using him every single play, which doesn't make sense. They that for the first quarter, I swear they used him. Just that first. Uh, just that first run, like they used him at least like twelve times. I don't think they were using him at the right time. I don't understand why you have a superstar running back, Mark Ingram, a on the fence superstar running back, Adrian Peterson, and an up and coming superstar in uh, Kamara. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, why do you have? All this, you know, super running back talent. I mean, it's of course you're going to have problems. I think it's going to. I think having Adrian Peterson on the team is going to cause more problems than help them, because I think it's going to cause some sort of uh, friction between Ingram, Peterson, and Kamara, and with Peyton. Yeah, they they they, they focus too much on their running. We game, are, we think. already saw Adrian Peterson yelling at Sean Payton on the sidelines tonight. First game because he wasn't playing him right. That means a Hall of Fame running back. He, he That's wasn't. the point. When when have the Saints been known for their running game? Never. Or, we, maybe since maybe since the days of Deuce McAllister, but even then it was pretty balanced. We've never been a run heavy team. I, I mean, we've had some strong weapons in the past, but yeah, but we've we never, used them at the right time. Yeah, exactly. We could balance it. You can, I don't see how you can balance Ingram, Peterson, and Kamara. Honestly, if if I had a pick, I would start Kamara over the other two. Because he's got he's he fits the system, the offensive system, much better. He's more of a uh, Darren Sproles type of back, which they got rid of for no reason. Well, I mean, we we want to talk about Drew. But the thing about it is, he ain't got nobody to throw to. Michael and his, Michael Thomas, and, okay, you know he's they good. Got, they got rid of all the people he can throw to. That's the problem. Oh yeah, they're, that's gonna. That's my first ball. point. That's my first point in the video right now. Loomis got out. rid of him. Loomis got out. Rid of him. They gave up. L Loomis out. Dude, Mickey Mickey Loomis gotta go. Dude, yes, he does. Mickey Loomis out. Every time Graham. a player gets good, every time a player gets good on the Saints, he trades them. Or he releases him. Just what so he is... can give Breeze more money. Dude, Graham was one of my favorite Saints players. I don't I still to this day it blows my mind that they got rid of Graham. It really just completely blows my mind. Dude, how many how easy was it to throw a a, a red zone pass to that guy and get and get a freaking touchdown, dude? It, he, we were going we were on the way to Super Bowls. We were on the way to playoffs. With with that tandem, but you know, Mickey Loomis got rid of him. 
freaking Brandon Cooks. What is Brandon Cooks doing on the Patriots right now? Why? Caught a bomb the other night. Why? I'm Dude, telling you. I think it's a pride thing. Like, oh, I don't want to give Jimmy Graham an extra whatever. It wasn't that the reason they got rid of Jimmy Graham was because he wanted just a little bit more money. He wanted a wide receiver. He money. wanted wide receiver money. Dude, he was tearing it. Dude. But you can't he pay him. You can't pay him wide receiver money and Drew Brees the money he was making and expect us to even start to fill the slots on defense. So, I mean, I get why they made that decision. Do the Seahawks pay him wide receiver money? No. I want to say that. So that sounds like less. a pride thing then. But the, but the Seahawks off had a way better defense than we did. So we, we were trying to open up cap space so we could up our defense. And I don't know what's up with our defense. We've had 20 different defensive coordinators. We still can't get it right. Yeah, it's not the players. It's the coaching. I agree. The players are the best of the best of the best. I mean, I mean, yeah, there are some defensive players that are above average, but any defensive player that made it to the NFL has the ability to be coached to be great. Well, they're in the NFL for a reason. Right. Yeah. I mean, all good. They, I mean, they could have been. There could have been more amazing people in college that they could have picked from, but they picked these people because they're pro. And yeah, I agree. I think that. I think that at least eighty percent, maybe even maybe even more, is coaching in these situations. I like. Did you guys notice how? I swear they in that first. That the when they first. Um, when they first took that first run, they used Adrian Peterson like a million times, and they wouldn't freaking throw it. If they would have like spread it out the way they should have been, instead of using him every single, which he, he was—I mean, he was—he got a couple first downs, but they were—I don't think they were—I don't think they were using him right. It wasn't at all. correct. It was something that was off. It was like the play calling or something. They only ran him up the middle. I feel like I feel like Mark Ingram is more equipped. For you know, north oh, yeah. south running like that, definitely, yeah. Uh, and, and they didn't, they threw like one pass that first, uh, that first run, I think. I mean, if one, man. I don't know, dude. I just, I think it was, I, and then did you notice at the end of the game they were throwing it non stop and they didn't touch Adrian Peterson, dude? He could have, he could have definitely ran it in. In the red zone on that last, the last few plays that they made offensively. I don't know. They looked like they had had maybe practiced a couple times before tonight. Hmm. Like uh, the offensive line was so so <coughs> scary to watch. I think they were practicing against. Oh, I was about to say something offensive, but as a joke, I'm I'm scared to say anything borderline offensive anymore. <laughs> but uh, I think they were practicing against like college teams or something. I mean, uh, a high school team or against each other, which is the problem because they all suck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they they're bad. It was it was it was bad, and like I would see Adrian Peterson on the sideline, and he would just. He had this look like, oh, my God, what have I gotten myself into? Exactly. That's exactly the... the I don't know. I think that Sean was Payton from... had... I think he had something. He he definitely has something with Drew Brees, like, like a connection. But he had... A, before, he had, a, he had a connection with Drew Brees, Jimmy Graham, Colston. Like, they, they had, like, a thing where they worked before. Yeah, it was but then beautiful. they started getting rid of all their good players. Darren Sproles. Why would you get rid of so many people after you win a Super Bowl? They didn't when keep you anybody. Keep what, what did they, they do? Get a first pick or something? A first-round pick? Is that what... I mean, what? I can't remember what they originally... When they started... I think the... Was it Sproles or was it Graham that they got rid of first when this down thing started? It was no, Sproles. it was Graham. I thought it was Graham first. You sure they didn't get rid of? I, no, I'm pretty sure Sproles I thought, went to the Eagles first. No, because nah, I remember Sproles playing on special teams um, while Graham was on the other team. I'm pretty sure. Mm, I don't know about. I'm I'm not sure, man. But. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but that's not the point. The point is they just got rid of some serious firepower over the past four years. 
and now we just we don't have no star power. It's just Drew. Michael Drew Thomas Reed. is yeah. really good. He's pretty good, but Adrian Peterson a little bit, but he, he but they got to like use him right. They got to use him right. AP, yeah, I agree. AP still got yeah. it. Uh, Demarcus, you're right. Sproles was traded 2014. Graham was 2015. Good looking out. Good yeah. looking out. Um, yeah. AP still got it. I can tell by that first play, he still got it. Yeah, but how are you? How are you gonna let him get it back if you keep letting other running backs? I mean, honestly, at this point, with Peterson yelling at, at the coach, and with Kamara kind of on the up and coming, I don't think he's gonna want to use Peterson that much, unless you know. Kamara was not good. Huh? What's that? But but the thing about it was tonight Kamara wasn't that good. But did they use him correctly? Also, that's the question. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, exactly. Kamara like, is more of a receiving type. Yeah, he's more Darren Sproles. If he was a little bit taller and bigger, he could be a tight end. I think. <laughs> I don't think it really matters. I think this season would be a complete just trash fire. I think we're gonna. Be, I think we're gonna. I think you're right. I think we're gonna be good within the next two years again. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, no. t- Why are you laughing at? No, I I think it's like it is like uh, we're we're hitting D Day to where this entire organization is going to need a whole revamping. I think it's going to start think- at the top with Tom Benson. Name I- one good thing about how he played tonight. I think we need another Hurricane Katrina to go through and wake <laughs> makes oh knock some sense into clean house. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. Come oh. on. <laughs> Oh god, <laughs> Tori, dude, what's up with them Doritos, though, dude? I just I love them. They're my favorite corn chip. Uh, I love them with the uh, the nacho cheese powder on them. I like getting the the powder on my fingers and then licking it off. For wow. um, for just, everybody, so you listening. like them better than Fritos? <laughs> Fritos can kiss my butt. What if they made nacho Fritos? I'd still be a Doritos man. <sighs> for you guys listening right now. You know, nobody knows football more than Tory does. Okay, he knows his chips. He knows football. All right, that's 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 all you need to know. And he knows his hot dogs. Mm-hmm. I love a good yeah. hot dog. But hey, guys, to wrap this up, here's our schedule. Get ready for this one. So we lost to the Vikings to today. You know, tonight. Then we got the Patriots next week. Then after that, we're at Carolina against Cam. And then we get the Dolphins. And we don't know how, we don't, I honestly don't know how the Dolphins are. We got the Lions, we, and then we got the Packers. It's just. Uh, I say we win against the Patriots no. because that's how the Saints work. They play against good teams and they win. I say we barely lose to the to Carolina. And then we lose to the Dolphins. <laughs> Dude, if you look back in history, you can that's how that's how the Saints are. They'll come out of the woodwork and destroy like an awesome team just out of nowhere and then get beat by the Browns or something. Well, to wrap it up, what do you guys think the solution is? Minus Hurricane Katrina, guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the solution is to getting to getting the Saints fixed, man. Because it's going to be a long season. Who first? Uh, Pepper, go ahead. Um, I think we have to wait until Drew Brees is retired or he is on, on another team. I think every decision revolves around him. And once he's gone, I think we can get, you know, obviously once he's gone – there won't be that connection with Sean Payton so we can get a new coach and hopefully a new GM. God. And, I mean, I don't know. That's hardcore. Are we, t- are we talking about a money problem here? No, we're talking about a, we're talking about a, a management problem. Yeah. I don't think, uh, I don't think Loomis knows what he's doing. Uh, I think all the decisions that are made are past or not, maybe not pass through Drew Brees, but they are all made with him in mind. Um, <clears throat> I mean, Tom Brady took a pay cut. Drew Brees didn't take a pay cut. 
Although Drew Brees does have four kids. He should have had all them kids. Yeah. Anybody yeah. tell him to have 27 kids? I mean, he's 38, so he... Are y'all ready for my solution? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. No, go ahead. If you're not done... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> All right, so here's my solution then if he's done. Okay, so we send Drew Brees to the 49ers, right? Oh, here we go. Okay, and then we take we pick up Colin Kaepernick, okay? Oh, I knew it was coming. <laughs> we pick up Colin Kaepernick, and we blow everybody's minds on how good Colin Kaepernick actually is. That's a whole okay. other podcast, fam. Okay, exactly. <laughs> okay, so l- let me be serious for a second. Okay, seriously, I, I don't think Drew Brees is a problem. I think Drew Brees is good. He he's he's got he doesn't have much more time, uh, but he's 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 definitely a strong weapon. I think that um, I think it is definitely a coaching problem, a, a defense, offense, the whole. I think it's a whole thing. I think they either need to get their stuff straight. They need to. Maybe it's a practice problem. I don't know, but it's definitely a coaching problem, and it's a play calling problem. It's definitely a play calling problem for sure. They need to fix. They need to figure out when to use their powerful weapons that they have because they do have some. Adrian Peterson, he he was doing pretty good, but they weren't using him at the right time. And Drew Brees needs to pass at the correct time. I I don't know. I think this maybe the. it seemed like maybe he did better at during the two minute. Uh, what do they call it when he was doing the two minute thing where he, they just get right back in the huddle and go? He was doing pretty good, but he was just he was doing nothing but passing. And when they got in the red zone, they didn't use their red zone quote unquote weapons, if that makes sense. Which are who? Adrian Peterson is one of them. They did <laughs> use them a couple times though. What? They, they did use him a couple times. They tried to give the ball to him a couple of times. Okay, but but at the it's end of the not, game, it's, it's there's our like offensive three line. times that they didn't. It's our offensive oh. line. Oh, offensive look, line was terrible. Look how many times Drew Priest got rushed mm-hmm. and touched. And it tonight. seemed like their pocket was okay. To no, me. I don't, I'm, I, no, I don't. I don't. was not that good. That. They couldn't open up hardly any gaps for any of the backs. Mm. Yeah, Streif got hurt. There's no telling how long he's out for unless. That's been updated, but there's a lot. I don't know, dude. That, it, we're not even gonna talk. We're not even gonna talk about the defense. I don't even want to get. Yeah, into that. I, I don't know. I can't. I don't. Yeah. Have, I really don't even. I mean, besides Drew Brees, but you're only as good as your weakest player, and it's pretty much everybody but Drew Brees, with the exception of maybe like Cam Jordan and Kamara. But I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I I don't even know what the solution is because I think there's too many problems to. To cover and I think it's a play calling problem. That that's just that's my bottom yeah, line. I, I, I think agree it's with a play that calling too. problem. I think I think the league has figured out Sean Payton. Um, yeah, that could be too. But here's my solution, real quick, and we'll wrap it up. My solution is Loomis out. Loomis out. Loomis out. Loomis out. Sean Payton is a hell of a coach. And Sean Payton is McElwain? good. No, no, McWayne. <laughs> no, no. Loomis Sorry. out though. Loomis has got to go. Cause, yeah. Cause Drew Brees. There's only five good quarterbacks in the league, and Drew Brees is one of them. Okay, he's one of them. Like five elite quarterbacks. He's one of them. He's one of the greatest of all time. And he still is. He's still performing. He didn't throw sure. no interceptions tonight, unless I missed it. Yeah. He didn't yeah, throw no he, picks. He all he was almost in interception. Uh, like you could tell when he starts getting worked up and like not not taking time, he was getting to the interception point. Like where he started about to start throwing interceptions, I think. But no, dude, no, Drew Brees is awesome. Yeah, stop taking away his weapons. Agreed. Stop taking them away. You guys remember we stop. don't have. Stop. Like, sorry, just. just... Loomis out, yeah, man. Dude. Sneed, out, dude. Sneed was Sneed was definitely coming up too. But we, sure. we, he, we, well, he's, he's Sneed, suspended. he suspended. He'll be back in game four. Yeah, he'll be back against the Dolphins. Did he still crab legs? <laughs> no, he had a DUI. Oh, oh yeah, he had everybody a DUI. gets DUIs. DUI should be attempted murder. 
<laughs> you should that's be another like, video. Yeah, that's a whole other video. But anyway, uh, anybody got anything else they want to add? No, I think I'm we covered good, it. Dude. I think we covered everything. I think that we discovered that uh, it's a play calling slash coach problem. Bloom. Yeah. Loomis out. General manager problem, too. Loomis out. Yeah, we'll be back next week when, uh, after the Patriots match. When somebody else makes another mistake. <laughs> oh, dear God. All right, guys. Good night. Peace. What?